As we continue our series in making golf as easy as we possibly can, we're going to look at these three golf clubs. An iron, a fairwood and a hybrid, all exactly the same loft, but perform completely differently. So what are the three clubs in question in today's video? Well, more importantly, they're loft. They're each lofted at 24 degrees. And in the case of the iron, it's a five iron. It's from the Callaway AI Smoke HL lineup. Really impressive set of irons, but that's 24 degree iron. We've then got from the same lineup, we've got a, a hybrid. It is a five hybrid, 24 degrees. And then from the Ping G430 lineup, I've got a nine wood. And that's something that I've been asked about a lot in recent weeks. How would a nine wood compare to these type of clubs? Well, very, very shortly, we're gonna find out. It's over to TrackMan. This is very much a data-led experiment. And let's see exactly what these do differently and why they might suit you or not. Right, so here's the dilemma. You've got three options and they're identical in terms of loft. You've gone for a custom fit and the first thing you're gonna be asked is, or you're gonna hopefully be presented with these type of options to fill the long end of the bag. So where do you go and how do you make a decision? Well, the first thing you've got to decide is this. You've got three very different looking clubs and on about aesthetically, I'm on about an address and that's gonna do a couple of different things. Hopefully, one of these three provides you more confidence than the other. Today's video was filmed at Chester and North Wales Golf Academy. Right, okay, so first shot hit, and it's pretty much exactly what I'd be, I'll try and replicate that now. Uh, but the idea is quite simple, nice easy swing. Um, we're looking to, to a bit of a left to right would be my shot shape. But with an iron in hand, and I know it's a five iron, I know that looking at it is not a lot of loft, then there's an element of negativity, which is not an ideal way to start. But that's reality. So it seems like a really good strike. It's definitely gonna cut from left to right. And a 170 carry all the numbers there, 4-2 spin with a 5 iron in hand, good launch, pretty much optimal numbers. The only thing you would perhaps argue is, uh, and I always say this about once you start to use longer irons, is am I starting to generate enough club head speed that is allowing me to get the, the carry distance? So that's a real, for me, a real negative that starts to happen with this kind of loft. I'm not generating enough club head speed to get that ball carrying far enough, quite frankly. And to see a difference between a six iron and a four iron and a five iron, this is where it starts to be a, a problem and an issue. So I'll carry on hitting some numbers. Uh, we'll collect data, but really that set of numbers right there on screen is what I'm expecting to get with my type of shot, my type of club head speed. The question is, with those same club head speeds, what happens when I switch up into a five hybrid? Two things to be really mindful of when you switch from an iron into a hybrid is one of the main advantages, with most at least anyway, is adjustability. So I can make this thing work for me, whereas I can't with the iron. And when I say make it work, I can make it fill the void, whether that be a distance thing, whether that be to do with spin, launch angle, whatever it is that I'm trying to manipulate, I can do that with a hybrid, or at least attempt to, and I can't do it with an iron. It's also got something about it which suggests it's gonna perform, uh, the club is gonna perform for me, whereas I feel like I've gotta to perform to make the iron work. And that's just down to the bulk of the head, but again, each to the individual. So, let's see what happens when we move into a five hybrid. All right, okay, so first ball hit, with the five hybrid. And um, yeah, straight away we've got a slight increase in that carry distance, but not major. They're not the kind of things that would interest me that much. It's the launch, the peak height, and the spin where we start to see some considerable differences. And where perhaps a hybrid is not just easier to use, but it's got much more, the performance that you get from it are the, probably the areas where we might start to struggle. And at slower swing speeds, struggling enough to generate the carry distance with strong lofted irons, 
that is slightly eradicated when you go into a hybrid. So I'm starting to see numbers now, like launch angle, uh, land angle, peak height, that are all really appealing um, and very different from what I've just seen with the five iron. Slightly heavier ball, but still 120 ball speed. 180 carry, really good numbers. And already we're seeing that the five hybrid at 24 degrees is likely to be longer than that of the five iron. But like I said, they're not the attributes that are really interesting me right now. So I'll carry on collecting some data with the five hybrid, try and identify what the differences are between this and the iron. But then that final option is to go into a, a longer shafted nine wood, same loft, more mass in the head, but that longer shaft, what happens then? Yeah, that's a pretty decent number and uh, in terms of the carry distance, but once again, it's those other attributes that should be catching your eye. Not the carry distance, the spin rate, the land angle, the launch angle and the peak height are phenomenal and potentially where the huge difference lies between all of these clubs. This lineup from Ping, the G430s, is incredible in my opinion. Now, straight away, we're expecting to see a longer carry distance due to the longer shaft. We're gonna create more club head speed and that alone will or should produce more ball speed if we're catching out the middle. But I keep harping on about the same things. When you're gonna try these clubs, pay more attention to land angle, launch angle, peak height and your spin. And that's where you'll see considerable differences. So I'll carry on. They're clearly already, it's very identifiable that we've got three clubs with the same loft that are so, so different, they couldn't be further from each other. The question is, we'll look through the data when I've hit a few more with this nine wood, and we'll try and identify, for me, what are the major differences and how they could impact on you. Do you know what? I love these experiments because uh, I think at the end of the day, Trackman, love it or hate it, is, is factual. It's uh, very hard to ignore when you get, certainly when you get a consistent set of numbers, which we've got with each of these. I'm pointing at the screen now at what is the, uh, let's start with the five iron in terms of its averages. And it did okay, 172 carry, 85 peak height, um, spin rate of 37, always low off these mats, I'm not gonna get into that debate. Land angle 42.5, launching 18.6. I think if you were sort of just looking five iron versus five iron it, from other different sets, they're not gonna to be too different from me. My spin number is always low. I think that land angle is okay for a five iron, probably even considered quite good. And the launch angle at 18.6, again, is launching the ball fairly high. So as five irons go, this has done an incredibly good job. But if we then go into, let's start with the, the numbers on the five hybrid, First of all, like I said, from a confidence perspective, I felt great with this in the hand and 177 carry means we've got a little bit of extra distance, but like I keep saying, it's these things, peak height 103 compared to 85. Um, we've got a spin rate of 4.5, so that's another seven, 800 revs of spin. We've got a land angle of 47.6 degrees and it's launching at 19.2. You'll notice I only hit four balls with the hybrid because it was so consistent. Uh, it was pointless carrying on. We soon established that this was, I just find it so much easier to use than a five, high, uh, five iron. Um, and without doubt, if I'm making a straight choice between one or the other, I'm putting the hybrid in all day long. But again, that's up to the individual. People get confused with these videos. This is my performance, this is my opinion. What you do is the same test and then derive at what's best for you. But then the nine wood, which is a different animal altogether. Hit quite a few balls with this, and I would say that there's a slight consistency issue in many ways because I almost felt I could hit this like, let's see, the lowest ball 177, the furthest ball 186. I feel like, you know, the club head speed differed and that length of shaft, depending on how long I made that swing, I could probably hit this thing anything between that sort of 175 up to 190, 195 carry. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I'll let you decide. Um, but peak height of 100 feet, um, we've got a spin rate of 5,000 revs. 
We've got a land angle of 46.6 and launching at 16.8 with one ball there really ruining the whole set of numbers. If we took that 12.5 out the equation, that would be closer to a uh, 20 degree in terms of launch angle. So slightly more inconsistent with the nine wood. I would put that inconsistency down to the length of shaft. And that's why for me, if I was making a choice between these three clubs, it would be the five hybrid. I've said in previous videos, they're a club that's been um, vastly overlooked and something that would work for a lot of golfers irrelevant of what level you're at. And for me, if I'm analyzing that data, that five hybrid, as I swing the club is a clear winner. Doesn't mean to say it would be for you. And as I say, it's important that you try them all. But what is vastly important is you get into a facility like this at Chester and North Wales uh, Golf Academy, you get on track, man, and you start to understand what a golf club is doing in your hands and not what you think it's doing out on a golf course, because often they're two very different things. Right, as ever, thank you for watching. Give me your feedback, let me know your experiences and uh, comment down below, hit that like button, and I'll see you all very soon.